Hey guys and girls, so today we are going to be doing some painting and what we're going to be painting is our uh, outside electrical box or electrical feed or, or electrical meter, uh, whatever you want to call it, regardless, we're painting it. So the bottom part of that is uh, PVC pipe and the top part is just metal. We've masked everything off. Uh, I like to mask off just a couple of the uh, tight areas where uh, some overspray is going to happen and what we've done is we've taken 150 grit sandpaper we've knocked off any loose material take this wrap it around the pipe you're not going to be able to get right to the back side anyways but give that a good scuff it just helps to adhere uh, the paint better to the surface we're going to use just a piece of cardboard uh, to kind of get in behind when we spray so that we don't overspray a bunch of stuff and today we're going to be using Canadian Tire's new premier line of paint so this one's a dark gray I figured the color looked nice it'll kind of match uh, with the uh, garage door and the front door which you can't really see and uh, some of that trim which you can basically see up at that left hand corner there but uh, we're gonna paint we're gonna try this this was cheaper than the competition it's a paint and primer in one which the other ones weren't and as it says on there it works for uh, plastic wood and metal so we've already shaken it up the premier paint has an easy to release cover or cap. It's got a nice wide uh, nozzle and uh, button which uh, the competition doesn't have so that's nice to see. So we're just going to work at this slowly. We're going to try to do a nice even coat and then we'll likely go back and we'll hit it again. Again, nice even coats. Use your cardboard to protect from overspray. Another reason why it's nice to have that uh, tape on there, it just prevents some accidents. I got a little bit crazy on the top there, that's my fault, that's not the paint's fault. Probably gone a little bit thick on this first coat. clothes that you're not worried about getting paint all over. Just quit working. There's no clog. So it's quit working and it's left some really strange bubbles on the surface. I'm going to zoom in on this so you can see. I mean we were going a little bit heavy on that first coat but not terrible.
that's not very good. And to add insult to injury, this nozzle is just buggered up. There's nothing, there's nothing down there, and I can see that there's nothing in the actual nozzle. That is weird. So, um, unfortunately, on paper, everything looked good for this, but uh, fortunately, in real life, this can's let me down. So, hope you found it informative. If you did, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Tell me why down in the comments, and think about hitting that subscribe. We'll, uh, we'll see you on the next one.